time is the ultimate hunter. Relentless and unyielding, no matter how we try to hide from it, its chase is never ceasing in its pursuit. Just as the hunter moves silently through the forest, carefully tracking its prey, time moves through our lives with each passing second, just like a skilled predator remains out of reach until the end. It's not about running out of time, but understanding time has an end. Which is why, on our 50th trip around the sun, we chose this adventure. If you could measure time on a human life scale, at 50, we are more than half. Ross, where are we at? We are in our, We just met our guide, Braden. Uh, he noticed some horseshoes came off his horse, so we had to stop at the store. And then after this, we're headed to the trailhead, and then we're gonna disappear into the Utah wilderness for five or six days and have some fun chasing some elk. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. He's letting us get close. That's our tree shot. Get him. Oh dang, this is about ready to get loaded up. He's just shooing one of the horses. Look at those mountains back there, that's awesome. Then down there's a river. And there are other hunters around over there. I'm gonna leave the truck and the trailer there and get going on those horses. This is the horse I'm gonna be riding. This is Riser. Say hi, Riser. Yeah. Yep. Hi, hi. Ross Rain River and now Riser. It's meant to be, dude. Yeah, we're gonna have fun riding up there. Nice little horse. Got some birds though. He's been working. Yeah. We're gonna go as far as we can go till the snow don't let us. stream we cross. So we are half a mile from our camping spot for the night and see what we can get us into some elk tomorrow and then if if you don't get an elk, we're going to head up over that pass over there. But we should be able to get into some elk. And yeah, this is just beautiful. Yeah. Just beautiful. We have reached our destination. And if you can see behind me, I got mountains. This is just unbelievable up here. We're, we're actually camped on the edge of a really big meadow. But there's meadows to the right of us. There's meadows below us that we can look down into sporadic openings in the trees. This is gonna this is gonna be fun. Fun good stuff. Maybe we'll set up camp and then maybe eat some food and then look for some milk. Tomorrow's opening day. And we got we're here at Camp Brad, Brandon. How the how do your legs feel after that? Good now that we're moving around a little bit. <clears throat> Horse riding is down here. yeah, horse riding is a different thing, for sure. And Braden sitting four up hours. our eight miles four hours up. 
Brayden setting up the stove and then. He's also our HVAC guy, apparently. Yeah. That's our horror to sleep. Mm. We're cooking some, some dinner, and here's the benefit to bringing horses. Your guide brings an LED light strand, which is crazy. It just makes it nice in here. Yeah. You don't feel like you're living in a cave. Well, these guys went running. We had a bull up here. And I just heard a shot. Well, you missed? They had a little bit of excitement. I had to take a shot on the run, but you know, definitely, definitely within my range, a good range of a good bull. I didn't even see his rack. I just ran and said, shoot, 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 so I shot. And I think I went high, high and behind, probably, as he was just passing through this five, ten yard gap. I was trying to get him to stop, but I could tell he's just going to run through the gap, so. Yeah. Glad he cracked the shot. Yeah. No luck, but it's hey. okay, his first morning. Opening day I opportunity. I first shot this trip, no kidding, like. <laughs> So I got my shot. That You're, was a great bull. Yep. Great bull. That's okay. We'll see him again. All right. Braden is a madman. He's he thinks we're young bucks or something. Yeah. He's doing, hey, when the plus, after day, we got go. Yeah. He's like plus, go time. Plus, he's same he's, or whatever. He's, up the hill. he's used to this elevation. We're not, but yeah, we're doing what we can. Ah, oh, I got my shot off, but that's pretty disappointing. I would have had maybe two more seconds. You think if we stay high and then come down around, we might. Cut him off. Well, you see, remember we have to come back to camp. Though. Yeah, we <laughs> can't sway the heck over there. Yeah, true. I guess we can just come back. I just got back to camp and we're missing two horses. They were all tied up. Well, I guess one of them was hobbled, but I gotta go look for some horses.
They're gone now. So we just had some cows. And there was a bull that would have been dead. We came up this ridge finger. Anyways, wait till you see this. This is amazing. So we did a little relay with my water pump. I threw it to Braden. He threw it to Brandon and Brandon didn't catch it. Went down the river. Brandon got, Brandon got a little wet. But we're just filling up with some water. Our camp is up there and we gotta climb back up there to get to our camp. It's been a trek so far. In all honesty, this is where I just slipped and fell face first trying to save the uh, water pump. <laughs> Did it. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, tell me what happened. Well... The first part of the adventure was finding my GoPro, which took forever, but then we came over this top to overlook this thing, and as soon as we came over the top, the cow was standing in front of it. And I saw another cow to the right, and then sure enough, the bull walked out. Oh my god. <laughs> I think he's a good one. I didn't get a real good look, but I saw curvature on both sides, which means he's not a, he's not a dink. Yeah. So I guess we'll ride down there and see, but congratulations, Ross. Thank what a beautiful, you hiked your butt off today. <laughs> you were feeling a little down with your with your rifle and with your GoPro, but uh, I just watched him one shot drop a really nice bull. So I'm excited. We're gonna grab the horses. We're gonna walk down there and... Uh... Yep, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so. See, they started off as a GoPro recovery. I had to find my GoPro. We found it. We only had an hour light left. We rode the horses up to this point up here to where we can see in this big clearing. Actually, you can see quite a bit of clearings. And uh, there was a cow standing there right away. Anyway, I uh, cow moved. I saw a movement to the right. It was another cow. They left the clearing. And then out walked a bull. 230 yards. I saw antlers. I didn't see how big he was. I saw antlers. And we have a bull down. God is good. God is great. Bull down. Now I just gotta find him. Uh, I forgot to push record on the walk up. But here he is. Unbelievable. Nice shot. Well done. <laughs> Holy cow. Five by five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of a broken time. Yeah, bad. broken time there. Really weak swords, but nice backs. Nice whale tails, I think that's what they call Those, them. Yep. Oh, baby Jesus. <laughs> Having some lunch. This stuff is good. How far, uh, how far down Making a plan for tonight. We just got back from packing my elk out. We're overlooking this big valley here. It's too warm. I doubt anything will move, but if we're going to have lunch. You might as well put your eyes on the woods at the same time. And then they rode out of my life for the evening, anyway. All right, 
So, Brandon and Braden left camp an hour and a half ago, and they rode across this top, and then they went over that into the next basin, because, um, and I, I, I was supposed to be glassing to see if they pushed anything out in here. As you can tell, there's there's openings like this. They're, they're all over in here, half of them you can't even see. Um, we've been hunting this place hard, and the problem with these openings, we saw a cow yesterday in, in one opening, but it, it was very brief. Um, the elk are in this stuff. And it's really hard to get pictures and videos of elk when you're walking through this stuff because everything happens so fast. It's, is it a bull? Can I shoot? Is it a cow? All that stuff. It's, it's intense. And, uh, so, so far I've gotten footage of a dead bull, but we have no footage of any live elk at all because of how the conditions are. But that's okay. We're having fun. I'm over here glassing. This is my thing so they could see where I was at. Um, but yeah, that Utah, where we're at, is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, camp is at 10,800 feet. Um, took us a couple days to get acclimated. I had a, I had a headache the first day. Uh, and it was slow moving. For, for I got my legs under me finally today. Um, but yeah, this, this, this hunt is not for the faint of heart. It is beautiful country by far, but it is a it is one of the hardest hunts I've ever been on. But it's it's worth it. Okay, I'll try to I'll try to zoom in here, but that top bull on the right is a bull. Oh that top elk on the right is a bull. Hurry up, you're gonna go. Hurry up. Hurry, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Damn. There's a spike. Hit him. As the sun set on our adventure, I stood there in awe, as I always do while enjoying these places that God provided me to see, and I look forward to taking many more adventures while I still have some breath in these lungs. Unfortunately for Brandon, he was unable to connect on a bull this trip. But one thing I know for sure, he had a good time, and we will have many more trips ahead of us. We're only here for a short time, and life goes faster as we get older. So remember on your pursuits to stop, take it all in, and enjoy this thing called life, because time is coming for us all.